So, hello guys. My name is Ronnie from Berlin, Germany. And today I want to talk about another amazing picture of the moon surface. Mm, this picture was taken during any Apollo mission. Guys, sorry, I don't know what mission it was, um, but the image number is the 2195. But it's about 50 years old, this picture, that's for sure. And yeah, let me tell you one thing before we start. This is the original picture before I start to edit. And yeah, when I edit pictures, I use uh, the dehaze filter. I um, use sharpness filter bringing more light or less you know but I don't change um, any other thing sharpness is one point to do it depends on the quality of the picture a lot of pictures you can get over the internet uh, from the missions are some kind of overexposed they have uh, yes yeah, they look blurry and that makes it, that makes it uh, difficult to see what is really going on on the surface. But with uh, the technology of uh, two-day uh, graphic programs, you can uh, do a lot to see what is really going on. Um, to me, it really looks like that the moon has some kind of atmosphere because there is a cover of haze or dust, clouds, whatever. Mm. And some people say that the guys on the moon are using a camouflage system. It really looks like, but it's not everywhere on the surface. Um, <clears throat> yeah Okay guys, um, to me I can say I'm a normal person. I have a life and I have a very Critical view to the world to the politics and Yeah other things The moon was always fascinating me and <clears throat> when I started observing started research um, yeah I started with the NASA raw images and the Clementine pictures and um, I don't know I don't know um, if you can teach your own eye for seeing what I can see, but when you um, are in research for some years, you, you have a teached eye, you have a teached eye, and you see a lot of animal eyes all over the surface. And <laughs> my brother. Uh, is calling me paranoid and obsessed by the moon because he is um, he totally blocks every picture I show him he believes in what is written in science magazines or, uh, or what he has learned at school so he's not I mean he, he's a very intelligent person but he is um, he believes in facts but the fact but the facts that the pictures are showing me he, he's blocking so I don't know I tried it for two times and <laughs> um, and he he started laughing at me so he's my brother I love him I don't want to stress him with this topic anymore um, but I hope um, we will live uh, for yeah, long enough to to um, yeah see the truth 
coming all over the world. Um, so for now, we have to create a huge network over the internet by guys who have an open mind. And yeah, we can try to reach more people, but we are not... Um, we are pioneers, but we are not we are not on a mission like the uh, Christian people uh, in, the, in the past did, like conquer the new world and bring um, the religion, you know. Okay, guys, let's focus the picture we, we have in front of us. I am sitting uh, in front of a 55 soul TV screen. Um, with 4K technology, but uh, we don't need 4K technology for uh, observing the moon pictures because um, they are not in 4K. Okay guys, um, this is the unedited picture. I want you to um, look in this area. We see that it's kind of milky, there is some kind of cover. There's haze all over the surface and we see all these circles and um, yeah, hexagon shaped objects, circles and it's all over the surface and when I say hexagon it's very easy to one, two, three, four, five, six and it goes on and on here another one here here everywhere so like Bruce Schwartz said I mean nature does does nature create hexagon uh, hexagon objects I don't know I don't think so so guys um, let's jump to the edit version and I told you before uh, what I what I do with graphic tools uh, to bring out the truth I do not manipulate the pictures, I bring back what what has gone lost on way to earth. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the edit version. You see um, I used the dehaze filter, yeah, I put in some more contrast and sharpness and clarity, that's all I've done. And now we have another story, a totally different story to the picture we have seen before. Um, so guys, the first thing I want to show you is uh, this kind of object. This is sticking out of the ground because you can see that pretty well. It creates some kind of shadow here and it's above the surface. Is, is it the right word? I don't know. My English is not that uh, well. So, and you can see there are a lot of um, strange anomalies in this picture. You see symmetric, um, yeah, objects. Look at this. And it goes on and on and on. And the amazing thing is that all these um, structures are connected to each other so look at this looks very interesting here it starts here and it goes down it makes a curve and here so you can see it everywhere on the picture um, I don't know what function is this but this is amazing look at this and you can see that this uh, picture um, uh, that this uh, whole um, area there are objects sticking out of the um, not abyss out of the ground <laughs> you know and this is not made by nature guys you see that it's all constructed same here and um, yeah it looks like a I don't know like a snowman shape of a snowman or a matroska <laughs> and we see it 
everywhere in this picture. This is amazing too, look at this. Now you can see the shadow line here. And it goes up. And here you can, uh, this is the shadow. This is a stick, I don't know. And you can walk through under this line. And imagine one thing, these objects are not similar to uh, objects on Earth created by, ma uh, by humans. These objects are, have, another, have a, another dimension of, um, I don't know, of size. And we are talking about objects that are miles long or sticking out of the ground for miles. And this is amazing because we don't know that kind of um, style on Earth. I mean, we know towers, we know skyscrapers, but if you compare this with the objects on the moon, um, it, it's small what we, what we do on Earth. So look in this picture. The whole area looks like infrastructure to me. You see um, geometrical objects everywhere. You see um, connected lines. You see that? And it goes in the background. It's the same everywhere. And what is really interesting that this um, yeah, this cover looks like a, <sighs> let's call it a glass cover or something like a shield, protecting shield, I'm not sure. I mean, some people say there must be an atmosphere on the moon because um, it really looks like. And I mean, we can see some kind of clouds and haze. And I mean, we, if there would, wouldn't be an atmosphere we could we wouldn't see that you know so I don't know what is going on on the moon um, and we don't know the technology of the I call the guys the mooners so the guys on the moon are mooners makes sense <laughs> and I think they are on the moon since millions of years so I guess we have a we have a, a common history with these guys and the way they uh, uh, um, built looks like that they are some taller than the ever than an average human but we don't know okay guys this is the um, you can see everywhere are um, objects and uh, not that clear to see, it's not that uh, easy to bring it out, to bring the detail out, but I tried my best. But now, I would like to show you mm, the most exciting area in this picture. This is the dark, the dark, darker area here. And for to the guys of you who are using a uh, magnifying glass, um, <coughs> you should try because the magnifying glass um, gives you the possibility to keep the quality alive because when I zoom in with the program um, the quality is getting worse you know? so guys this area is totally crazy so you know I'm sitting three meter in front of my TV and I already see that there is a huge, huge complex district of, I don't know, industries or whatever it is, it is there. And the objects inside this area are some, yes, some um, bigger than any other areas. And look at this. This looks like a hangar. Yeah, you see that? 
And you see here the shape of a glass cover. I don't know, but you, we can look inside this uh, hangar. I call it hangar. And this is very massive. This is huge. Um, I wish I could call a scale, but I don't have it. But the most guys who are watching the moon uh, knows that these objects are massive. So, um, I mean, you can see that there is something like a, a way or a railway going inside this hangar. You see that? Yeah. And we see a lot of other strange objects, like this one. And and look at this some symmetric lines. <coughs> Everywhere we are looking at. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I hope you can see wh what I'm talking about. Um, and there's another amazing thing. Look at this. It looks like one one piece of structure and what is that? Is there something coming out? You see that? Uh, like a light? Yeah, whatever it is um, it is there and this is not a <laughs> it's not made by nature and this complex uh, this this district is uh, really looks heavy um, you see that? This looks like some kind of crane looks you see that? It's amazing. And now, this is very interesting. This area uh, has something like a border, like a. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it seems to be having a cover over it. Huh? It's more. There's the milky cover, and um, but you can see objects under that cover. It's a lot. And I see so many details. I, I can't stop. Uh, yeah, my my eyes are so big now, and watching, staring at it screen and wow what the hell is going on there so guys tell me yeah leave a comment tell me what you can see in this picture um it's totally amazing look at this i mean it's not the best quality uh, but we see circles we see symmetrical objects, lines and a lot of connected things and it's all over the surface, all over same here, in this crater it's totally amazing look at this, looks like a cave so I could spend hours watching this picture because there's so much to so many things to find and talk about um, well so guys um, let's stop the video for now uh, yeah it's not that easy to stop <laughs> guys okay uh, thanks for being my guest thanks for being patient to me and I hope you will, um, how to say it, yeah, leave a comment, talk to me. I would love to, to, to um, speculate about the things that are going on on the moon. Okay, so goodbye, nice greetings from Berlin, Germany. And see you later. I hope so. Bye-bye.